Oh, oh, oh. oh man. Okay, guys. It's that time of year again. I can't believe I'm still doing these. And I can't believe still people are still watching them. But here it comes. Hilarious for Grand Cover Reviews 4. Yeah, we're up to 4 now. I mean, it's amazed that I've, I've not been putting an insane asylum for this shit. I mean, Jesus. So, I, I will give, you know, a, a wee bit of advice. I hope you guys have got your, you know, your chemotherapy booked, you know, in advance. Because, let me tell you, this whole video is just full of, of pure cancer. Pure cancer. Here's two for Burberry London. So sexy and good. I really love it on my man. Smells like sex in the dark woodsy cigar bar. Love it. See, I really wish I had their love life because sex in the dark woodsy cigar bar, you would get kicked out and caught and that shit just turns me on. Next up, we have someone who really knows what they want. Totally sexy lumberjack with beard and chest hair. Waving a flannel, carrying a lady across the threshold. I dig this. Many younger ladies think it smells like older guy. I think it has just the right amount of rugged without going into the polo green side of things. Thanks to Burberry for making me feel like I'm some kind of I'm in some kind of romance novel about to get ravaged by a burly man beast. You lucky motherfucker. Well, I'm single, so any time, you know. You're horny and up for some fun, you know, hit me up, you know, you've got my Facebook info and stuff, you know, a brother, a brother will help out, I mean, really, I'm a dirty bastard, not as dirty as you two, but, you know, close. Here's two for Dolce & Gabbana Intenso, the first one just says it all, the bottle says eau de parfum, the bottle says eau de parfum and it does not smell, it does not smell the three else. and the bottle says eau de parfum. It's expensive and it's sort of perfume and should last. <laughs> Fuck me. And the second one, major dislike. It seems like no effort was made to blend any of the notes here. Instead, it's like a little kick banging random keys of a piano. No melody, no harmony, no nuance, no thanks. See, he has his shit together. I actually completely agree with that guy and feel both of the pain that these people are going through. Or the parfum, too fucking right. That shit should be lasting days. Shame on you, Dolce and Gabbana. This is what happens when you don't have sex with your wife enough. If you have one, cunt. Here's two for Chanel Allure Edition Blanche. I enjoyed this at first, but now the lemon note is way too overpowering and cloying. Even with a few sprays, reminds me of a cleaning product. No longer a fan. See, I'm kind of confused now. Does that mean that he thought it was like a ceiling fan before, and now he's tried it and he thinks it resembles a cleaning product? So I'm not sure if he means he's a fan of the scent, or it used to remind him of a ceiling fan, or a desk fan, and now it reminds him of a cleaning product. So it was a fan, or it was it a fan that I'm confused. The next one, a creamy lemon meringue pie. Chanel Allure Home Edition Blank smells creamy purple. Sadly, longevity and protection are just like lemon meringue pie. 10 out of 10, 4 out of 10, longevity less than 1 hour, 2 out of 10. <laughs> that guy is on point. Give that man a fucking cookie. And he can spell, which is even better. That's fucking double points around here in this insane asylum. Fucking cesspool. Here's two for Gucci Guilty Intense. Too sweet, disgusting, smells cheap, not enjoyable at all. However, projection and longevity, very good. It's like the guy was like on coke and then was snorting coke as he was typing the review, then passed out and woke up at his computer and was like, oh shit, I haven't faced my review. However, projection and longevity, yeah, very good, very good. He woke up and realised it was still going. Hardly could smell with the coke in his nose, but hey. You know, one minute he's having a seizure, next minute he's calm. It's like he was in the middle of having a wank or something. Bottom one. As the name suggests, you buy it, then you fell into intense guilty. Why I bought this, really disappointing. So I then fell into intense guilty. So like, is that like a fucking hole opens up and it's got a sign, guilty, and I fell into it? You know, I, I don't even want to break this down. I'm not even going to try and, and comprehend that shit. Fuck me. Here's two for Lynn Stunt de Guerlain au Extreme, also known as Lidge. Very good protection, very good longevity. At the beginning, you smell like wardrobes from old church, hidden rooms, cassocks, wood benches, old claret curtains. Very good! Then the middle, then that the, the, the stage, that that middle stage appears. It's good, but I get whiffs of old granny at the end. You smell like Nesquik. Yeah, don't do drugs, kids. That's why. And then the bottom one. This frag is not for kids and girls. Well, that's kind of sexist. I mean, well, well, it's, did he used to work as one of these like, 90s marketing guys? You know, like Yorkie? Not for girls. <laughs> no girls allowed. <laughs> Boys club. Fuck off. 
Here's three for the hyped up Nautica Voyage. The guy below me must like the rhinoceros ivy horn roses type of exquisite colognes. Voyage is good stuff, smells fresh and clean, gets the job done for daily juice and does it well. The guy below says generic, genetics, pleasant, blah blah, generic, generic this, generic that. From initial spray, my sister even said it's cheap smelling it is. Once again, good ratings, reviews this clone have failed my blah blah blah, I'm a cunt. But... Fair to guy, I do understand where he's coming from. I hate that shit when I watch a video from 2009. Oh man, it's totally beast mode. What you find? It's a watered down motherfucker. And this guy at the bottom doesn't even care. Teenager sent for me. What does that mean? Does that mean it's bad? Does that mean it's a teenager sent for him? He likes it, it's a teenager sent? I mean, for fuck's sake. Try and type, you know, five, ten words minimum. Fucking hell. Took longer than that to register for an account, for fuck's sake. Here's two for Amen Puremont. Caramel berries, whiskey, caramel berries, whiskey, chocolate, vanilla, coffee, patchouli is what you get from this outstanding fragrance. Okay, that was, uh, that was, um, I wasn't sure if I was drunk on drugs or that, but then the guy at the bottom doesn't even care. Scent 8, CI 7, longevity 7, rum scent. Okay then, well sorry sir, sorry for interrupting, do go on, fucking... Is it like, I mean, what was it, this toilet break? He was like d desperate to take a shit and he was like, oh shit, oh, but rum scent, okay, it's done, cool. And go back to, you know, snorting coke off a hooker's ass. Here's two for Versace Mano Fresh, which just amazes me. The first one, <laughs> sublime, hypnotic, you know, just, that's it, you know. No no comment on how long it lasts or, you know, what it actually smells like, considering Armani Code is sublime and hypnotic as well and it smells completely different. But yeah, you know, don't bother, you know, write more than two fucking words, you lazy prick. Um, and then the bottom one. Shauna dot Para lets her racism shine in the first gar paragraph of review. I looked for this review. I was so fucking curious to see it was written here, but I didn't find it, so she probably deleted it. I'm dying to know what went on in that review. As usual, typical for Grandica bullshit drama, fucking snowflake motherfuckers. Eee, wine, 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 bitch, bitch, bitch. I need to give my dad a rim job just to get food tonight, cunt. <laughs> Okay, guys, we can all uh, zip our pants back up now that that's over. So, yeah, um, if you ever feel bad about yourself, anytime you think, you know, oh, I'm so worthless, oh, I'm not going to go anywhere, oh, I'm so stressed, just remember, at least you can type more than two fucking words. So, you know, which, uh, you know, anytime you feel bad, just watch this shit. I don't even know how it happens. I don't know where these people come from. They just appear. I mean, like, there's nowhere else. You will never find these people anywhere else apart from a YouTube comment section. In fact, they're probably the same damn people. It just, it just blows my mind. You know, it's fragrance review. These people made an account. These people have jobs. These people probably have kids. I, I have no comment. I have no comment. <laughs>